All right, so this, in my opinion, is one of the greatest times to be a long-term investor. I mean, we're currently in a market where we're seeing fantastic, high-growth quality companies. We're seeing their fundamentals continue to improve exponentially. However, the cost of ownership in these high-quality businesses continues to get cheaper and cheaper. The market is completely irrational, completely disregarding any news pertaining to the business, and it's just an awesome time to accumulate, and that's exactly what I've been doing. So, in this video, I have some major, major news regarding Open Door, Tattooed Chef, and Hims. okay? And if you're in these businesses for the long term, this is huge news, okay? But before we dive into that, you know, I always love to share some value. So I'm currently reading this book called Only the Best Will Do by Peter Salern, right? I love this chapter, okay? The chapter is talking about the bigger picture because, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in the now, you know, what's Jerome Powell going to do? How many interest rate hikes are they going to be? It's all short-term noise. You know, we had this exact same drama in 2018. When you look at the charts now, it's a blip. It's a blip. So it's very important to focus on the bigger picture. And if you are focused and you can remain objective on the long-term vision of these businesses that you've invested in, I mean... A bear market is fantastic, okay? So here's what he said. For the seasoned investor with nerves of steel and cash to spare, however, bear markets always eventually present a buying opportunity. Fact, okay? It's easy to look back at 2008, 2009 and wish we could have bought Apple or Amazon or Microsoft or perhaps Netflix. It's so easy to look back and wish that, but you have to remember during that time, that was a financial crisis. So real estate was on a decline. The stock market was absolutely tanking. You know, banks were closing up. People were losing, literally losing their life savings. Lehman's Brothers, you know, it was an incredibly insane time. And to think, would you be buying shares in that period? Of course, it would have been extremely, extremely difficult. And now we're going through our own punches now with regards to the C. Roney, inflation, all of these fears. And we're seeing retail run for the door. It's insane, okay? But for me and my Discord group, we've been accumulating and we're going to continue to accumulate as we remain focused on the companies and as we remain focused on the bigger picture, okay? So the economy will start to recover, Facts. It always does. Warren Buffett has said on many occasions, don't bet against America, okay? The economy will start to recover and some months before that happens, stock markets will start to rise. If the investor can identify that point, so essentially that inflection point, there will be substantial gains to be made by buying more shares in his favored quality growth business, okay? Buying high quality growth stocks when the prices are depressed by general economic conditions is a surefire way to deliver superior portfolio returns for many years to come. And this is the key point here. If the share price is getting absolutely destroyed due to general economic conditions, so through no fault of the business, then this is a surefire way to deliver superior portfolio returns for many, many years to come. And that's exactly what I believe will be the case for most of us that are invested in companies. As long as the management continues to execute, as long as they continue to allocate capital effectively and efficiently, Yo, this is an insane time. So with that said, let's dive into the news. So Open Door, okay, they have now officially launched in another market. It's in San Fran, baby. <laughs> As my people in the US will say, you know, San Fran, baby, San Fran. Yeah, okay, we, we won't go there. But Open Door have announced today that they've launched in San Francisco. And it's quite funny because this is where the company was founded, okay? So they founded Open Door in 2014 with just a handful of people relentlessly in one room office in San Francisco. Now, eight years later, the team has grown and they've proudly helped more than 100,000 people buy or sell a home in more than 44 markets in the US. So today, the company are coming full circle by launching one of their largest markets to date right here at home in San Francisco Bay Area. Now, remember, again, stay focused on the company. The target is 100 markets. So 100 markets, according to their blueprint, when they went public would put us at a revenue run rate of about $50 billion. However, this number is now slightly skewed. If you look at HPA since that time, I mean, yeah, we all know house prices have been flying, okay? House prices has continued to appreciate over time, over the past two years. So essentially, if we can get into 100 markets uh, and capture 4% market share, 
I mean, that's going to put us way above the $50 billion revenue run rate that the company presented to us back in 2020. And it's insane. Okay. So another thing that I love about this news was that if you look at the Bay Area, okay, they said houses uh, are usually valued between 400000 to $2.5 million. And these are eligible for purchases through the iBuying business model. So if you think about the top end, Remember, Open Door is a transaction company. So essentially, they charge 5% per transaction. So if they operate at the top end at 2.5 million, that will generate $125,000 in just transaction fees for Open Door. So if they can generate even more revenue on the resale, of these houses due to HPA, then that's fantastic. So not only have they secured 125K on the top end at 2.5 million, then they can sell it for more. That would translate into even more revenue for Open Door. And this is huge news, okay? So that's the news regarding Open Door. Remember, keep your eyes focused on the business. This company continues to execute. Now, Tattooed Chef, okay, we finally have some news. Now, the company themselves haven't announced anything, but I want to give a shout out to Hugo's in my Discord. And I also want to give a shout out to Charlie C in my Discord. These guys brought this to my attention because in December, Tattooed Chef announced that they've completed the acquisition of the Belmont Confections uh, Factory, essentially, and the company plans to launch new tattoo chef branded plant-based bars in 2022 and as you can see here hugo's shared it in my discord and we have the plant-based chicken and sweet corn burrito bar okay now where they're currently selling this and this is where charlie helps it's currently on kroger okay it's currently listed on kroger right now however it's not currently available for purchase just yet but kroger are essentially getting the web pages ready to launch the plant-based bars from tattoo chef and I'm sure we can expect a press release in the run-up to earnings for Tattooed Chef. So, so this is phenomenal news. Again, the company are in a quiet period right now. There's been no press release. We've not heard anything from Tattooed Chef this year. They're just executing because, you know, they spent a lot of last year. talk. It was a lot of talk last year. But this year, I believe with the way the company are positioning, it's just execution. And that's exactly what we love to see, okay? And that's all that really matters, okay? How are we growing and improving our top and bottom line? Because that's all long-term shareholders of this company care about and it's fantastic to see. So next up, we have Hims, And it seems like every single week, Hims are just making insane developments. I mean, it's very, very difficult to keep up with this company, but I want to shout out Knight Rider and also Peter Seekers in my Discord because these guys are on top of Hims like a rash, okay? So the way it works, we have certain people in my Discord who are on top of Tattooed Chef. I'm on top of Open Door. Jay is on top of AMD. K is on top of Alibaba. Uh, Noah is on top of STEM. We have so many people within the Discord that keep on top of the companies. And it's really just a team effort, all right? It's a team effort. And this is fantastic news, okay? So back to the subject. And the news is, Hims and Hers launches new line of mental wellness supplements with more options to help with more options to help support stress, sleep, and lack of focus. Now, if you go back to the last earnings call, so the Q3 earnings call, Andrew made it clear that the mental health side of the business is growing exponentially. So he pretty much said that subscription is at the core of the business, and we saw 95% year-over-year growth to over 500,000 members. He said this outperformance across the spectrum was driven by continued robust growth in our core hymns categories where our entrenched brand and trusted products continue to deliver exceptional growth, as well as continued acceleration in our newest expansion categories, such as mental health, which grew 1000% year over year, okay? So it's absolutely no surprise that Andrew and the team are focusing on growing this particular category. And this new supplement launch is huge because it's going to help support stress, sleep, and a lack of focus, which if you are targeting millennials, these are huge problems that a lot of millennials deal with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So the company are doubling down on this particular category. And I think this will be huge for Hims and Hers going forward in terms of growing our subscriber base. And that will ultimately improve our top and our bottom line and potentially increase our margins going forward. So those are the three main updates that I have for you in this video. Remember, if you want to stay up to date with all of my latest research, if you want to be a part of an investing community that focuses on the development and the progress of the businesses that we invest in and the businesses that we refer to on this channel, then definitely check us out. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.